All right, guys, welcome back to Home Built, and today I'm on a road trip in Harry. All right, first fuel stop. I'm uh, down to just over half a tank. I think I've done about 350K, so I'll, uh, uh, we'll measure how much uh, we put into Harry now, and uh, we'll see how we're going as fuel economy was. I'm not really sure, but I think it's, it's pretty economical, really. took 36 liters and I think I've done about 350 Ks um, something interesting I did learn while I was uh, traveling I uh, I did a speedo check and my speedo worked properly the the, uh, the gauge works correctly but what somebody's done is replaced the face this was miles per hour because the odometer is in miles so um, I have to do all the conversions from that but I'll, uh, I'll zero the uh, zero now and uh, we'll uh, we'll just see Science to Kapuka. So uh, that was where I spent quite some time. I spent three months, many, many, many years ago. Um, yes, it's uh, where the Australian Army basic training camp is. And uh, yes, I lived here for yeah, three months until moving on to further military training later on. But uh, yeah. Sort of fond memories, it's been quite a while, but um, yeah, definitely glad I'm no longer in the army now. All right, well, here's the first detail this is the main highway uh, going straight ahead that we would normally take through to Adelaide, but uh, the floods have shut it down, so we have to actually take a detour, uh, and a, a lot of detours, to hopefully get around the floodwaters and we'll just see how we go and I'm just hoping I can get through because if I can't then um, yeah I'm gonna be uh, turning around and coming back
That's a lot of flood water. The road is like an island, just in between all this crazy flooding. All right, this looks like the first lot we're gonna to have to drive through. It looks pretty shallow. I'm watching a truck come the other way. Um, it's below the bumper of the truck, so I think we should be right. But uh, cheap as I hope it doesn't get too deep because um, I'm in Harry. Harry doesn't really have um, clearance for water crossings. Yeah. but it's still Harry deep. That one wasn't too bad. Uh, that was relatively shallow, but uh, yeah, I don't really want it to get a top deeper than that. I'm in Harry. is here in uh, central New South Wales. It is pretty horrendous. Holy moly. The waves coming in. Yeah. Thankfully I can get through because I'm only in Harry and there's really yeah, not a lot of uh, clearance in this car. All right, so uh, we've done about 160 miles. I think it, like, um, I think it's, uh, yeah, 100 and 159 miles. So we're gonna go and uh, see how the fuel economy is. It's, you can see how high the floodwaters are here. The floodwaters here are insane. I think the, the water level is actually higher than the, uh, than the service station. It's pretty crazy. So you can see the river here. And you can see all the businesses all sandbagged up. That's actually a car park and a toilet block. It's not really going to be much use at the moment. Wow. go again but it's deep enough for Harry. <laughs> traffic on this road and um, it looks like the road where I'm supposed to be going is closed and I'm not sure if that means that uh, this road's got water on it as well I'm having a look at my map and um, I think there could be a way through going down this road here but uh, I might venture down this way see if I can get through if I can't then I'm gonna have to turn around and go back which is gonna really suck but oh well 
that's what we have to do. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Okay, well, that one doesn't go anywhere. Let's see if I can go back and go another way. This doesn't look too deep here, but it looks like it just keeps going and gets worse, so... <sighs> Turn around, go back. i got to go back to Daniloquin, I think. Which is about... Um, oh, a 45 minute backtrack. Alright, so I've got to go 50 k's back to Daniloquin. Um, where I already stopped, so that's... Uh, yeah, and then I've got to go further south now, down to Echuca and then see if I can get around that way. Um, yeah, this trip that was going so smoothly, it's gonna take a little bit longer than I thought. Instead of six hours left, I've got like eight and a half hours left and I'll probably be stopping for the night somewhere. Um, seeing as, yeah, there may be more backtracking to go on. The fun and games of road trips, particularly when it's funny. Right. All right, we're gonna go back through again. smooth flowing as it was having to go sort of backtrack and now I've got to see yeah where I can go to get through just have to play it by ear and I'm probably gonna have to find a hotel somewhere tonight all right we're back at Daniloquin and now uh, it seems as though the road is open to Echuca so we'll just follow it on through and hope we get there So we just crossed the Murray there, um, which is heavily flooded, but we're, in, uh, we're now in Echuca. And hopefully, Victoria is a little bit better than uh, New South Wales as far as the flooding goes, being um, the southern side of the Murray River. I'm hoping it's not as bad. And uh, the plan now is I won't be able to make Adelaide tonight, but I might make Border Town. We'll just, uh, we'll see. Which, by its name is on the border of South Australia and Victoria and is actually where my parents used to live a while ago. We'll give that a go. And now we're leaving Echuca, the weather has got pretty horrible. It feels cold and dreary. All the seasons in one day. And back to bright and sunny again. <laughs> Weather's all over the place. So the further I go, the roads are getting smaller and smaller to the stage where I can see a truck coming and I'm going to have to get half off the road. Tiny country road and 
there is a very oversized silo coming the other way. Wow. Yeah, that was tight. comfort break and uh, then we're back in the car on the road. I'm in border town and uh, it's time to get some uh, greasy road food uh, and uh, yeah I was gonna stop but uh, it's only two and a half hours I think I can uh, energize and uh, keep rolling and get there tonight all right I just uh, had some greasy spoon <laughs> to give myself some sustenance to uh, do the last two hours and 25 minutes I contemplated stopping and getting a motel, which I could have done just there. Um, but I'm feeling good. It's currently uh, 20 to 7 in the evening, and I've got two hours and 25 left. So, um, yeah, it's not. It's 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 been a long day of driving, but uh, I'm still feeling good. If I if I, if I really feel like it, I will stop because uh, definitely always do that. Don't don't try and push it. Be stupid. But uh, yeah. It's not far left, so uh, we're gonna get there. And I don't think there's gonna be any closed roads between here and where I'm going. So this is some amazing artwork all the way through the uh, the countryside. All of these silos have been had massive murals painted on them, and the logistics of that would have been absolutely insane. following morning I had a, uh, a long drive late last night it was 16 hours of driving which is a long day and uh, I got there Harry worked flawlessly which was fantastic and uh, 
that was uh yeah it was quite a long trip particularly with a three hour detour basically you know driving 50 k's the wrong way and then coming back and then having to go sort of loop around and find another way through through a lot of tiny little roads that were a little bit dodgy but uh we got there and uh yes now it's time to do the final preparations for harry for the uh the adelaide rally which is this weekend so uh hopefully i will uh cover that well and you'll see that in the next video but uh Yes, Harry's looking good, and I'll have to do a, uh, a review of uh, this at some stage too. But uh, all right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that one, and uh, I'll see you next time. See you, guys.